story time when I booked a family vacation of I think eight people in Portugal and how having them on all of the same flight ticket really did me dirty. If you're new here, my name is Jamie. I'm a retreat and travel planner. Now, family vacations isn't a retreat, so you might ask why I did this. So this is the founder of one of the co corporate clients I have, and she asked me to book their family vacation in Portugal. So naturally, I said yes. Now, she had about eight people going, a mixture of both blood family and friends that have turned into family that work closely with her and her company. And I was in charge of booking all of the um, flights inside of Portugal. She had already handle, handled the international ones. Thinking this is a very expensive family vacation, no one would cancel. I mean, this trip was like $5,000 a person. So I thought it was very safe to put everyone on the same flight reservation. We're two days into this trip. I'm checking in with my client, making sure everything's going smoothly. And she tells me that her and her boyfriend broke up and he is not on the trip and asked me to get the money back. I booked them on Tap Portugal, which it was the cheapest option at the time, not the best option at the time. And I had everyone on the same ticket. In order to cancel his flights and get a refund for his flights since he wasn't there, um, I had to cancel everyone's flights. And that $50 plane ticket wasn't worth losing everyone's reservation. I credited her the money from my services because I fucked up. So even when it's a family vacation, it's still not quite safe to book a group experience. If you want a business experience, hit that follow button. It'll be up in the next video.